Yep, that's a squeaky bed. It's annoying, it keeps you up at night, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fix it. What is up, guys? Zim's Jeep. So yeah, this is the bed in our master bedroom. As you can tell, it's making all sorts of noise. It's keeping us up at night. A couple weeks ago, I moved the bed to clean and vacuum underneath it, and ever since I put it back, these noises have started. I pinpointed a couple areas where it's happening. My guess is that when I moved it, I might have loosened up the joint here where the stretcher rails meet the footboard and also back there at the headboard. So I'm going to take the mattresses off, we're going to take the frame apart, I'm going to take a look. Got a couple things here that I think will fix the problem and we'll see if we're successful or not. Alright guys, so I went ahead and got the mattress and the box springs taken off. Now that's probably the first thing you want to check. Make sure your box springs aren't the cause of the noise and the squeaking. All right, I checked mine out. It doesn't look like those are making any noise, so I think we're good in that department. Like I said, I think I pretty much narrowed down the noise to the joint from the stretcher to the posts on all four corners. So up here at the headboard, those two corners, and then again down here at the footboard. Now, in general, when you get squeaking, especially on wood, usually the cause of two pieces of wood rubbing together. So in our case here again the stretcher and the posts on all four corners. But your noise can also be coming from some other areas. You want to check these slats that run between the stretchers on both sides. You can get a noise down in these areas here. We're going to address those as well while I have the mattresses off. This is a king size bed and I'm sure as you know moving the mattress around isn't any fun. I only want to do this job once. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break apart the um, the frame here. These are just brackets that fit into, I guess, a mortise on here and some other type of bracket inside the post. They just pop right out. If you have a different type of bed frame, say with nuts and bolts, more than likely all you have to do is just tighten the nuts up or the bolts and that should solve your problem. And you can even lubricate them with WD-40 and see if that helps. Before I go ahead and take this apart, I think I found what the problem is here. Uh, if I rock the post here forward a little bit you can see this gap that I start to get here between the stretcher and the post. I think that when I went ahead and moved this bed it probably had too much weight with the mattresses on it and I think I probably indented the wood on the post here and I no longer have a tight joint between these two pieces of wood. When that happens the bed can start to rack as you see here and shake and that's when your noises start. So we have to address that issue first. Alright guys, so I went ahead and broke the bed apart and I think my suspicion is true. You can see here, get it on an angle, you can kind of see how the wood on the post here is indented. And I think that's causing some slop with the, um, the stretcher rails on these posts. So I'm going to have to find something that I could take the gap up between that rail and the post now. So I went looking around Home Depot and this is what I came up with. This is down the hardware aisle near the, um, the felt pads that they sell to put on the bottom of furniture so you don't scratch your wood floors. This is a roll of that stuff and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a few strips of this and I'm going to attach it to the edge of the stretcher rail here and that'll take that gap up and another function of this it'll stop the wood on wood contact which I think is where the noise is coming from. The noise might also be coming from the bracket here where the bracket hooks into the bracket here on the post. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is lubricate these as well. I got some spray lubricant. You can use something like a WD-40. I have something a little bit different that I'll show you and we'll see if that helps. Alright guys, so just to show you what I'm doing here, I'm just cutting strips of that uh, felt off this roll here and just peeling the tape off the back of it and just adhering it to the stretcher rail here. Now in most cases you probably don't have to be too pretty with this because all this is hidden underneath the bed. Alright so in my case I'm also cutting a few little strips to put on the top and the bottom of the bracket here as well. Alright so there you go guys again doesn't need to look pretty it's going to be hidden. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is lubricate the brackets now on the rails and also those mortise brackets there on the posts. And what I'm going to use for that is this product here. This is called Dry Lube. It's made by PB Blaster. You might have heard of them uh, for their other product to loosen up stubborn nuts and bolts. reason I like using this is opposed to WD-40. When you spray it on, I'm going to show you here, you can see that within a couple seconds it completely evaporates. And what it leaves behind is a lubricated film. So if I was to go ahead and spray this with WD-40, you'd have all that rolling down now, you could get down on your carpet. 
So I like using this indoors in my house, like when I'm lubing up hinges and basically anything else that might make a mess. Um, I find this to be superior to WD-40 for that reason. Uh, you could find this down the hardware aisle at Home Depot if you're interested. All right, guys, so I'll see if I can get a shot for you here how these things snap into place if you're not familiar with how a bed of this style goes together. Basically all you gotta do is just get the is get the um, head of the footboard into place and then I don't know I'm actually you know you know the good view here but basically it just slips in there and then you just give it some force and press it down. You get step on it or basically any way you have to get it in there just do it. And that fit into place nice so you can see you know wiggling this thing pretty good now and it's not shaking as much as it used to that felt fits in there really nice I went ahead and I got the uh, headboard attached also in the same way and yeah I think that was uh, was pretty good so let me get the other side hooked up all right so the bed frame is all put back together now in all four corners I'm going to turn my attention now to these slats and wherever one of these meets the stretcher rail I'm going to go ahead and put a piece of that felt underneath and I'm also going to put a piece of felt on the edge of the slat as well so that both contact points which would be the bottom and the side are protected and we don't have any wood to wood contact again our squeaks might be coming from this as well so another thing I wanted to show you guys this center post here that basically sits in the middle of the slats that run in between both the stretcher rails I noticed that um, this, uh, I guess it's like a leg bolt on the bottom and it's got a threaded connection on the top. I, I forget the name of what these things are called. But basically the leg bolt section fits down into the top of the post here and you can see how this hole, I guess, got stripped out. Uh, this is a real easy fix. All you want to do is just get it in there as best you can and then just take a mallet and just hammer it into place a little bit. Go ahead and grab a pair of channel locks and then just twist the the post and you can usually get a couple of those threads seated into the uh, piece of wood. Alright, this then fits into a, a slot here on the slat and if I can find it, alright, and this prong nut here fits into this uh, countersunk hole. And these all popped out as well. This bed is just a piece of crap. I think we bought this in Raymore and Flanagan about four or five years ago and it's just falling apart at the seams, but gotta make it last for the time being. So just hammer that prong nut back into place and then this just threads in from underneath. Hopefully you have enough thread to get it started on that. I don't so I'm going to have to pound that in a little more. I don't have a punch up here, so let's use these pliers. And let's see if we have enough here now to get this started. Yep, we do. Just don't crank down and muscle it down too much because you'll strip it right out again. For the most part, the weight of the bed keeps this in place, but you still want a nice secure connection here again. Any spot that's loose where you have wood on wood contact will cause your squeaks. So here's a look at the slat now with the piece of felt on the bottom and on the side. Again we did that on both ends. And we're just going to go ahead and slip this into place now. And you can see those felt things here, they don't cause any problems with getting this back into place. It really doesn't add that much. Uh, space in between the bottom or the side so you won't have any issues um, getting everything reinstalled and just make sure you go ahead and sock these screws down real well too all right guys one other thing I went ahead and purchased was these L brackets at Home Depot you can find them down the building supply aisle with the joist hangers and my intent was to install them over here in the corners just to stiffen up this joint a little bit. What I'm going to go ahead and do is just install the box spring and the mattress and rock the bed around a little bit. See what we have. Hopefully the noise is gone. If it's not, I'll take the mattress and the box spring back off and we'll go ahead and put these in. If I don't need them, this is just another option for you if uh, you still have noise. You're just going to have to get some wood screws, probably number eights, uh, three quarter long, and just 
drill them into the post and on the stretcher here. If, in my case, I'd also have to drill through this metal bracket here, which isn't a big deal. So just another option for you if you happen to need it. All right, guys, got everything back together here. Let's go over the repairs we made so far. On all four corners where the side rails meet the posts, we went ahead and installed these felt pads. We also lubricated up the bracket on the end of the side rail and also the bracket in the post. On the center slats, we went ahead and installed felt pads on the bottom and on the sides of all the locations where it meets the side rails. And we also made some repairs on the center posts where it meets the slats as well and tightened all those up real well. So I'm going to go ahead and install the box spring in the mattress now and we'll give it a test and see what we got. So I went ahead and got the mattress and the box spring put back on here. One other thing that I wanted to show you guys, when you go ahead and put the box spring back on, you want to make sure you have some separation between it and both the footboard and the headboard on both ends. So you want it centered on the frame. So here's the moment of truth. Let's see if it's making any noise. And... I hate to say, I think we're pretty good. Shaking this before like this from side to side would definitely be making uh, all sorts of noise. So I'm happy to say I think we fixed it. All right, so I got my two little monsters here testing the durability of the repairs and I have to say this was a lot easier than I thought it would be. No more noises, no more squeaks, and maybe I can get a good night's sleep finally. Anyway guys, I'm Zim's Jeep. If you found the video helpful, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button. Maybe you want to subscribe to my channel. Got a bunch of other maintenance and repair type videos. Save you some money on things around your house. And as always, thanks for watching.